Welcome to Capital Punishment, a race to the end game with a unique luck rarity system to spice things up. Here are the main rules of the game and how to play. There are three different types of cards in the game. Movement cards. These cards allow the player to move around the map depending on the rarity of the card. These cards have different tiers with different values that increase the range based upon the rarity. Digibucks cards. These are the main currency of the game. Digibucks can be used to access tolls, draw multiple cards, or play multiple cards on certain tiles. These cards can only be gained through use of a special card or drawn on the yellow tile. These also have different tiers depending on rarity as well. Finally, item cards. These cards are playable during your turn and designed to provide advantages to the user or disadvantages to the player. These can only be picked up from the pick up an item card from the draw deck. These, however, do not have a rarity and can be consistent on how useful they are. Which brings us to the decks. There are five main decks in the game. Draw deck, Digibucks deck, items deck, vault deck, and finally, the discard. The draw deck consists of movement cards and pick up item cards. This is your main deck since no special card or tile is required to draw from here. Digibucks deck. Where all of the Digibucks is located, can only be accessed through yellow tiles or the item card. Item deck. Item cards and item cards only can only be used with the pick up an item card. Discard. Where you discard any card that's been used. And finally, the vault deck. Think of this as the Monopoly Bank. Whenever you want to convert Digibox cards with a high value and need to break it down to a bunch of 100s, the vault is here for you. This deck only consists of 100s. One more thing. There are five different types of tiles. Green and gray tiles. This tile is basic and unloved, just like me. Land on it and nothing special happens. Just draw from the draw deck and call it a day. Yellow tiles. These tiles let you draw from the Digibox deck. But this is exchanged for your usual draw from the draw deck. Red tiles. The player can choose to pay 200 Digibucks and the player may move twice this turn. Pink tiles. The player can choose to pay 200 Digibucks to draw two cards. White tiles. The player can choose to pay 200 Digibucks and access the lane that skips over a significant portion of the map. Finally, the blue tile. This is the start square. Have 2,000 Digibucks when you reach this square and victory is yours. And that's it. Now time for the setup. At the start of the game, you draw 5 cards from the main deck to each participating player. Then, choose what color you want to represent yourself as. Green, blue, purple, and yellow. Usually, a turn goes like this. Use a movement card, then draw to end your turn. If you land on any special tile, follow what that tile is supposed to do. As you can see here, I land on a yellow tile, which means next turn I can draw Digibucks. And from there you can wash, rinse, and repeat. And that's it. I hope you got the gist of the game, and can't wait to see if you like our game.